Welcome back, everybody, to another Freshy Meetings episode. My name is Justin. Thank you for being here. So today's episode, what we're going to be talking about is how to cure skeins for float fishing for salmon. Um, so we are in the very beginnings of fall and this is prime time to be floating for king salmon in the river. So what I thought might be beneficial to you guys is to show you how I cure my eggs and basically the process that I go through to get the best fishing skein for salmon. So you need a couple things. Number one, Ziploc bags. Two, rubber glove. Three, a knife of some sort four the cure itself and five is going to be borax once you have all those things you're ready to go so without further ado we're gonna hop right into it let's go guys so we have our eggs ready here make sure when you take them out of the fish, the first thing you do is kind of just, after you bleed them out obviously, is just let them sit and dry out. That's gonna be uh, the first step into that. So these guys have been sitting for roughly two hours. You wanna gather all your materials first. Uh, so I got a couple Ziplocs there. I have the cure itself. I'm using Atlas Shaking Cure. So I have two rubber gloves as well as a something to cut the skeins with, which in this case, I'm just gonna be using a, a hunting knife. So we're gonna get into the process right now. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how it start and the whole process from top to bottom. So here we go. So first things first, what I like to do is you wanna open these skeins up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make an incision from the top all the way to the bottom. Basically what we're gonna do is they have been closed and we're gonna end up just opening them up like that. Just allows the cure to penetrate a little bit more and actually helps your eggs cure a lot more than just the exterior. Now you don't have to be super gentle with this as well. I mean, you really just wanna open them up just like you would, I don't know, like a chicken breast or something like that. But don't worry about harming the eggs. You're just trying to open them up and expose the interior. So now you can see that one's a little bit more exposed. You're basically just exposing the interior of the eggs and trying to get to the membrane uh, underneath the eggs as well because that's going to help your curing process. So as you can see, they're all done there. The next step is going to be applying the cure. So today we're using Atlas Shaking Cure. This is the cure that I like to use in a pink color. I prefer to pick something that's fairly vibrant. We don't really follow the directions. Uh, we kind of do our own thing, so I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do this. So have your cure ready. Once the cure is uh, prepared, then we're going to sprinkle them all over the eggs here. We're going to put our rubber glove back on here because we're going to be touching the eggs. I mean, you don't have to use a glove. I prefer you just to keep human scent off of the, the, the bait itself, but some guys don't really care. So at your choice, completely up to you. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to sprinkle all across evenly and we're going to massage it into the middle sections here and then we're going to flip and we're going to do the same process so you can be pretty generous with it i'm just kind of making my way in spreading the eggs make sure i'm trying to get all the corners all inside of there All right, so as you can see, we put all the cure across. We coated it fairly evenly. You'll notice it a little bit, but it's already starting to take a bit of a color change. What's gonna happen at this curing process is the cure actually pulls out all the moisture of the eggs and begins to form a like a juice or some sort of a, uh, of a liquid. So that's gonna happen with all the eggs. So we're gonna flip them over really quick right now. We're gonna do the backside, and then we're gonna get ready to put them into the bag, and that's when the full curing process is gonna begin. So right now we're gonna put all of the eggs into the Ziploc bags. And what I like to do at this point is I like to actually cut my skeins directly in half, just so that way they fit in the bag a bit easier and I can separate them later. Um, so I don't have to bring the entire skein out with me fishing. I can bring out little chunks at a time. So what we're gonna do now, this part's actually extremely simple. The next step in this is going to be applying more of the cure that we had of our cure. We're gonna put more of this onto the eggs and we're gonna let them juice out. So all we're really doing right now is we're just gonna be adding more cure, just like so. Just 
a little bit extra in each. I'm gonna fill each bag doing that. All right, so as you guys can see, we literally used the entire bottle. So I was at about halfway almost, I guess you could say, just about. So we used almost the entire bottle. So this does take a lot of, of process as far as a lot of material for the shaking cure, but I'm telling you, it works good. Don't be afraid to go a little bit heavy handed if you really wanna have a lot of color in your eggs. So now what we're gonna do with this is we're going to close these guys up and we do still wanna leave a little bit of air, believe it or not, because this next part is you want to close the bag so there's a little air pocket in there. You just wanna give them a shake. Give them a swirl. And you're gonna do it to all of them. As you can see already at the corner here, that is all juice from the eggs already starting. So that's good, that's a good sign. We're gonna leave them in there. You don't wanna drain the juice. I know some people do, but trust me, you don't wanna drain the juice with this. You wanna keep all the juice in there. So I'm just gonna mix these guys up really quick and do it to all the bags. We have our eggs nice and shaken up. As you can see, they're juicing really good right now. There's lots of juice mixing them up what I like to do at this point is I will take my eggs and put them in one large bag they're all gonna stay in individual ziplocs but I put them all into cumulatively one large bag say a grocery bag or um, some sort of garbage bag and put them in the fridge just in case they do leak they shouldn't but just in case they do this will prevent it from spreading throughout your entire fridge and having your whole fridge stink like dead salmon eggs and just nastiness to leave mine in there for roughly two days key is in that time frame that they're in there mix them every some odd hours every six hours or so just you know if you remember you go into the fridge to get a snack just grab the bags give them a nice shake the key is you want to keep circulating that that juice or that moisture that the eggs have pulled out because what's going to happen if when we leave the eggs back in there it's going to reabsorb some of that juice and in the juice is the cure we're going to get back to that and we're going to see what they look like in the next two days two days later all right guys so now we are in my storage room and we're gonna be taking the eggs out of our cure they've been in there for about two days in the fridge with me tossing them back and forth mixing around the juices uh, so they're ready to come out now and begin the drying process so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take all the eggs out of the bags the block bags that they've been in and we're gonna spread them out across this tray and leave them to dry all sitting on this tray and they're just gonna stay open at room temperature for as I'm gonna leave them out there for about a day or two and I'm gonna flip them back and forth every six hours so both sides can dry and I'm gonna see where I'm at from there so we're gonna leave these out for about a day uh, and then we're gonna check back up on them again to see where we're at and then uh, we're gonna make a decision from there to see how dry we want to fish them it has been two days now the eggs have just been drying out on this pan i've had some paper towel underneath them and i've been flipping them occasionally back and forth every like i said four to six hours it doesn't have to be exact but just give them a flip just so both sides dry properly so as far as consistency wise these are perfect they're not fully dry the tops are but they're still a little bit moist which is nice we don't want them completely dried out because then they wouldn't have any juice left in them when you actually fish them so they're fairly dry which is good and like a nice tacky dry i guess you could say is what you're aiming for they look legit they look really really good so for this next process you're gonna need a few things this step's really important uh this is the final step that you got to do to make your eggs last you so much longer and much more durable but they still have a nice juice to them when you fish them first things you're gonna need are a bunch of ziplocs i usually use uh the smaller ones so that way i can cut them up into different size chunks so i don't have to bring the entire skein with me so i got a bunch of ziploc bags here and then you can label them if you want to as well a pair of scissors gloves as well i mean it's up to you i like to keep human scent off it plus the cure is not good for your fingers it really dries it out but the main main ingredient this is the most important part this stuff right here this right here is borax and if you don't know what borax is borax is a cleaning solution um, people used to use it all the time as a, a neutral deodorizer uh, you can mix it in with your whites it helps uh, keep whites white it helps you know get stains out as well this is really good stuff if you're doing laundry but it's also really good for keeping your eggs nice and fresh and also dry what it does it actually stiffens them up so it'll help keep the membrane of the skeins intact and this this is what helps keep your eggs it just helps them last so much longer can't even tell i've been doing this for years 
and uh, this is the best method that I found that works extremely, extremely well. First step to this, the first thing you want to do is you want to open up all your Ziploc bags, whichever ones you plan on using. And what I like to do with all the Ziplocs before I even put any eggs in them, take some of the borax, take it, Just to get the bag coated and started, um, you want to coat the eggs very evenly. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit in every single bag and then we're going to put the eggs in and then we're going to put more on top. And so now that I have them in the bag, like this, you want to make sure you leave air because what we're going to do is we're going to make a little air pod like this. Twist it up. There's, they're basically, they're not really wet anymore. Now, what's cool about this is as soon as you put them in the water, they plump up like instantly. And these are like, this is the candy. They love this stuff. So I'm gonna do this for all the bags right now. And, um, and yeah, I'm gonna get back to you guys as soon as we're finished, but we're gonna do this. And what we're gonna do actually, once we have that all in there, and we're gonna put some more borax. Just a little extra. So yeah, super simple process. So that's one down and I got a bunch more to do. So we're just gonna time lapse really quick. So you do the same process for every single one. Chop, throw in the bag, put a little extra on. Give it a little, little shaky shake. Put it in there, and then you have all your eggs. And I'm gonna show you guys how to store them after if you do wanna freeze a couple and then keep a couple thawed for when you're ready to fish. They've really lightened up. They look much lighter in there because of the borax for sure. A bag that I haven't even cured yet. You can kind of see it still slightly unshaken. They just look less vibrant, which I'm a big fan of. I don't like it super, super colorful. I like it a little bit more neutral looking. But yeah, as simple as that. You do that to all your eggs and you're good to go. Now that that is done, we're gonna move on to the next step, which is going to be the storage process. Basically, all you're going to be doing is you're going to be taking all the air out of the bag. So you want to roll them up and just get as much air out as possible. Before you freeze them, you'll want to wrap them up in, say, some paper towel and, um, and put some aluminum foil over them as well. Basically, what we're trying to do is we're trying to keep all the moisture away from the eggs, which will help them essentially not become freezer burnt. And I found that wrapping them in paper towel and putting another layer of tin foil on top does work. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. This is a batch that I did a while back. I'm gonna say almost a year ago at this point. It's gonna be hard to tell, but it came out, we came out of tin foil and paper towel. There is no freezer burn on there whatsoever. All that you're seeing is borax. I just pack it tons and tons and tons of borax in it. Yeah, they're gonna fish, they should fish relatively close to exactly how you want them to. Leave some defrosted, say in your fridge. Uh, they'll last up in a freezer for, I'd say I've left mine in there as long as they don't get freezer burnt, a year and a half, two years, these ones I'm gonna fish. And then the ones in the fridge honestly can last a couple months before they start to just go off. Keep a couple bags because you go through skeins quite a bit, you use quite a bit when you do fish them, but the salmon love them and it works, so. Easy enough, right? Easy to understand? That's the process though. I just decided to put everything in there, a lot of detail, so that way you guys had all the information that you needed just in case you had any questions about it. But if I did leave anything out, feel free to contact me on Instagram, comment in this video and I can get back to you on that. But yeah, that's basically the way that I cure my skeins and the way that I go about it. If you break it down to the simple steps, it's not a lot, but the minute details are really what makes a really good egg and what's gonna help your egg last much, much longer. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Remember, if you found this thing educational at all or if you got any value out of it, feel free to leave a like, share it as well, and uh, subscribe for more cool fishing content as well as uh, interesting fishing videos or how-tos. 
alert. I'm running a giveaway right now, or I'm going to be running a giveaway on my Instagram. So we are currently at just over 160 followers, I believe. So once I hit 200 followers, we're going to be doing a giveaway, and we're going to be giving away a bait casting reel. One of my personal own bait casting reels, because I have too many, and I figured... Why not, you know, share something with somebody and maybe give it to somebody who never had a chance to own a nice bait casting reel. If you guys do want to be entered in that, feel free. Go to my Instagram here. Give me a follow. And once we hit 200 followers, I'm going to make a post about it that we're going to be giving a, doing a giveaway for this said reel. And uh, then we'll go from there. I'll list all the rules and details in that post. So until then, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Remember... Stay freshies. Later, I'll see you in the next video.